Today we're going to be talking about the new benchmarks for the 5900H and I'm also going to be telling you more about the ASUS RG Strix lineup that is going to be showcased at CES 2021 and trust me, a lot of you guys are going to be excited about this one. But before we start talking about all of those things, if you're new to the channel, then hi, my name is Alex and I cover the latest news in tech and gaming on my channel, including links like this one. So if you're interested in keeping up with all of those things, then consider getting subscribed to the channel. And now let's look at the new benchmarks for the 5900H and it sure seems that we're finally completing this puzzle because because we've already seen benchmarks for the 5600, the 5800, and the 5900HX, and this one is going to be quite as good as well. Now, the latest Geekbench results put the 5900H at about 1500 points in single core scenarios and roughly 9300 in multi core. Now, if you don't remember the specs for it, then this is going to be AMD's 8 core 16 thread chip, and it should have a base clock frequency of 3.3 gigahertz and a boost of 4.65 gigahertz with 8 cores for the iGPU and a configurable TDP of 35 to 45 watts, which should make it roughly 30 to 40 percent faster than the 4900H that we've seen on last year. So if you haven't seen my videos talking about which laptops you should be buying, then there's an entire playlist which you can see on screen right now and of course you can go check it out in the video description down below or if you click on the info cards above. Now looking at how this chip compares in Geekbench against Intel's desktop and mobile offering you can see that in Geekbench at least it has managed to score better than the desktop 10700K which is going to be great for both gamers and everyone who needs this for productivity tools since multi-threaded workloads you know are going to require a lot more cores and this chip is most probably going to be very good at that. Now with decent cooling and an RTX 3070 or 3080 mobile GPU, I can see how such a laptop will also plow through the latest AAA titles. And remember that we're going to be finding out more about these laptops very soon. That being, of course, at CS 2021, which is going to take place in roughly two weeks from when I'm posting this video. And I'm very excited for them. Now, what I'm mostly excited about, and I truly am about these new laptops, are the ones from... ASUS and those being of course the ROG Strix models because they're going to be pairing them with up to a 5900HX and up to a RTX 3080 which, you know, that's great and all, but a lot of you have been asking me if we're going to be seeing any 2K, you know, 1440p screens, and the answer is yes, and they're also going to be up to 165 hertz, and uh, you can thank ASUS for that. Now, I generally think that these panels are going to be great because we've also seen ASUS getting certification from Pantone for other um, screens that they're going to be putting on other models so I guess that's something to get excited about now in terms of other configurations um, they're going to be putting up to 32 gigabytes of RAM on this one up to one terabyte of speedy SSD storage and of course AMD's uh, latest chips but they're also going to be pairing them with Inter's Tiger Lake chips but at the moment they're only going to be uh, focusing on the four core variant because apparently uh, what I was able to understand from the video cards article uh, Intel is having a little bit of an issue now getting the eight core variant put into well getting produ being produced and sent out to uh, laptop OEMs and all of that stuff so they're going to be using Comet Lake H, so uh, yeah, that kind of sucks, but I guess this rolls very well with what I was saying that uh, most of you who are going to be interested in gaming and getting the best productivity uh, results or the best results in productivity tools are going to be um, going for an AMD and RTX uh, laptop. So um, yeah, that's pretty much all I had for today. Of course, there is uh, the question about pricing, but I can't really tell you how much these are going to cost, but um, you can of course look at uh, this very useful chart from WCCF Tech, and I've uh, shown it in other videos of mine that I've been doing in the playlist that I've been talking about for so long at the moment. Um, so I guess you could be looking at this um, chart and looking at the MSRP, and then if you're from the US, then congrats, you probably found out what this is going to cost. Otherwise, if you're from another region, just try to do the price conversion, think about taxes and all of these other stuff, I guess in Germany you could just look at the uh, US pricing and then put a euro instead because that's pretty much how it works uh, most of the time. If I'm wrong then I guess I am and you can let me know in the comments down below but either way I really need to go because I have an appointment so I'm probably gonna have to rush back and uh, record or uh, edit this video and post it to YouTube so you're probably going to see it a little bit later than when I'm recording it. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you guys hopefully in the next one. Bye bye.